What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents alike? This your boy, Light Lucifer Fair and Prince, coming at y'all once again. Well, people, I hope everybody's enjoying the collapse of the societal structure as we know it. However, there's no conspiracy involved in this. But before I proceed, please remove your children from the immediate vicinity because my videos are not for children. Okay, now people, in 2023, right, we're going to call it what it is. They say media-wise, and remember, the media is only used for fear-mongering and to spread dis and misinformation. But allow me to clarify with historical facts and not just conjecture from two-minute news clips on CNN or MSNBC or any other news outlet that's controlled by privatized corporate interests. We've hit the debt ceiling, people. The United States government is shut down. There isn't any more money. The people are basically having to fend for themselves. This is what they're saying in the media today. And to really be honest with you, that is far from the truth. But what I have explained last year was that there is no such thing as so-called continuity of government today. Because I said it last year, and I said in my video about interesting times, in 2023, everything was going into automation or a digital phase, so to speak. Because now everybody's so acclimated to digitizing everything and people think that this is convenient. Now, let's, let us backtrack to when CD started happening. We're going to say it like that. And this was a point in period where they were telling people like, hey, you know, stay away, go contact, contactless payment. It was all a catalyst to get people acclimated to the usage of digital infrastructure also known as artificial intelligence. This is not a mistake, people. Now, everybody's so acclimated to using digital interface, i.e. through different mediums, search engines, and so forth. You fell right into their trap, right? Contactless payments. So if you couldn't contact or interact with society because of CV and you had no other method of payment except contactless payment. Don't you think for one second that that was all by design? Everybody's so focused on war efforts and so forth in Ukraine. And everybody's talking about what may happen in regards to a World War III. People, World War III has already fucking taken place. It's already happened. When? 19... 51. World War III has already taken place, right? Because it was the economic war. It was also known as the silent war. Don't believe me? Look at my video, Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. I've been saying this stuff for quite a while. And yes, these inform this information has come from other individuals who have researched it. So it's not like I'm saying something new and profound. I'm just keeping the modern day generation updated on things that they don't know about. So when they say silent war, the silent war was economics. It was fractional reserve banking. It was floating liens and debt in the form of benefits and privileges to the registrants. It was these individuals making sure that they could control society through a medium in which they couldn't interpret, which is finance and law. That is the economic war that has been waged. That is World War III. It's the silent war. It's the war that's going on right now. The cost of living is high, but your pay doesn't increase, which means that you have to work twice as hard for basic necessities to make what they say ends meet. In New York, there's an estimated 70 million people up for eviction, but the math ain't mathing though. Because in order for evictions to go through, you have to go through the court process and so forth and so on, which means that the docket will be overloaded. People, we as a society, 
I'm not going to say individualistically. I'm saying we as a society as a whole are very fucking stupid. We're keeping this thing running on autopilot. We don't even realize it. People are obligating themselves to pay something that they don't even own. However, while the so-called 1% are hoarding wealth and exploiting you for your labor, all the while, you remain none the wiser. And this is the reason why I stress and express so much about debt resistance on my channel. Now, I know it's not going to be a popular topic because I know that most people have a slave mentality. And when I say that, that just means particularly that they're afraid to stand the fuck up for themselves. I'm sorry, people, whether you want to believe it or not. And this is not inciting anybody to any form of violence before it gets misconstrued. This is for you to become aware of what you're dealing with and know that in order for you to win this war, you need to arm yourself with the proper weapon, which is knowledge. You can have all the guns in the world. That doesn't mean anything. Knowledge is what you need to arm yourself with if you haven't done so already. And the reason why is because that's the only way you're going to be able to implement your power, irrespective of things going to shit out there, because they're only going to go to shit for people who are not equipped. See, everybody wants to talk about preparation. Remember, the so-called people who you think and you give too much credit to who run society, they don't run society. They just run the method in which it's controlled because they hoard the knowledge through secret practices, okay, to keep the masses of people stupid. You know what I'm saying? That the longer you're stupid and you don't know what's going on and you're ignorant to the mechanisms, you will forever fail in the midst of this silent war. You see what I'm saying? And as long as they can keep you distracted with multiple agendas, then guess what? You're never going to come to the knowledge of truth. Simple as that. And that's the goal. You, if you don't know finance, you don't know law, I'm sorry, for you and for your children. Because I'm telling you right now, it's a silent war. The silent war is the covert secret war in which the war is waged not through guns, not through bombs, not through bullets, but through words, language, definitions, and the applications thereof. See what I'm saying, people? So this is World War III. This is financial terrorism. It's happening to you. It's happening to society as a whole. However, there are people who want you, oh, invest in cryptocurrency, yada, 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 right? It's all a game, people. It's a game. And you don't know the rules. That's why so many people are losing. Because you don't know the rules. See, when you know the rules, those things that operate on the minds and the masses of other people don't affect you because you know better. And see, as long as they can keep you aloof, they can keep you unawares and keep you fearful, that paralyzes your initiative to do anything. And this is the reason why I stress and express on my channel, not what I heard, not what I feel, not what I think, what I know from my experience. Simple as that. Everything I talk about on my channel is something I either have been through, will go through, or already have been through and I have receipts for it. So I've been waging war with this infrastructure for quite some time, for years, as a matter of fact. And I stood up for myself because there was a time in my life where I did it. I was going right along with the flow. But just like Neo in the Matrix... Got that, got that package in the mail. Once you got them directions on the phone, you never look back. Notice what Neil was doing, working the nine to five until he got that package. You see what I'm saying? So you need to understand that what's going on today is by design. It is not a mistake. Will it crash within the next year? No, but it's going to be very hard for a lot of people. It's going to be hard for the next two years. I give it up to 2025 before things really, 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 really start looking real futuristic for you. But in the meantime, don't fear. Arm yourself with the proper knowledge. That's your armor. It's all you got. At the end of the day, people are sitting here trying to maintain materialism, but nobody wants to educate themselves adequately on what is necessary in order for you to properly and adequately keep it. Knowledge. I never heard anybody get robbed for knowledge. 
But I have heard the IRS seize people's property for not paying taxes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And a lot of people who don't want to invest in their education, it's fine. That is your problem. Whatever happens to you, you deserve it. If you are willing to invest in things that do not matter, and as opposed to investing in your education, that is a problem that you will have to face for your future. Simple as that. If you don't hear it from anybody else, you heard it from me. Simple. So I suggest you start taking your tax money and start buying some materials and stop worrying about the materialistic shit that is irrelevant and is making other people's interests wealthier than yours. That's just a bit of advice for those who are listening. So when you get your little returns, start investing in some motherfucking knowledge. Yes. That's just a suggestion. Now, if you don't want to invest in that, I suggest you lock this video off. Turn it off. Act like I never said anything. But that doesn't mean just because you avoid the war doesn't mean it won't it won't stop at your door. It won't stop at your door jam. That's all I'm saying. You can ignore it all you want. You can turn this video off and go to your distractors and escapism. That doesn't mean it's not it's gonna stop. That doesn't mean them foreclosures are gonna stop. That doesn't mean them evictions is gonna stop. That doesn't mean that it's gonna stop. Just because you close your ears, the noise gets louder. Simple as that. So I suggest in these hard times that have already been hard, I suggest you ease your burden and educate yourself properly on what's the next step you need to take for yourself. Because the war isn't gonna stop. I don't give a fuck how much you pray. I don't give a fuck how much you manifest or meditate. It doesn't matter. You can pull out all the crystals you want. It's going to take some action in these next few years. Now, I'm not saying that that is not an important aspect to keeping your mental sanity. But what is necessary for you to actually endure and adequately make it is what you know. You can keep your practices. It's all right, but it ain't enough. That's all I'm saying. And that's in less than 13 minutes. If you doubt what I'm saying, read the excerpt, Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. Read it three, four times. Read it. Read it. Because this is financial terrorism. Silent weapons. They're silent because they're hidden. They're hidden because you won't seek. And because you won't seek, you will never find. The means to the end. If you don't want to find the means to the end, act like I never said a motherfucking word in this video. Act like I never said anything. Because I know it's a lot of people who are going to shrug it off. It's a lot of agents who are going to be like, well, he's just talking crazy. Yeah, because you're a bitch. You're scared to stand up for yourself. So it's easier for you to go along to get along. That's what agents do. I'm not an agent. I am a natural born living individual. Not a commodity. Not a piece of property. Not somebody's shadow. Let's get that straight. And if anyone doubts that, on the commercial side of the ledger, I'm a secure party creditor. I'll be until the day this shit drops. It is what it is. So all you agents out there disinforming and misinforming people, I hope you get your fucking karma ASAP. Because you're hindering people's progress by lying to them. At least I give the elites credit. Well, so-called elites anyway. At least they won't tell you a motherfucking thing. Agents are horrible. These motherfuckers will come in front of you with a truth they know nothing about and block you from even getting to where you need to get to. Pretty sad, people. But stay aware. Stay awake. Stay sober. Stay vigilant. It's the only way you're going to make it within these next few years. Arm yourself adequately with the knowledge you need that's necessary and get off of the path of everybody else going with the social momentum of destruction and find the way that leads to life and peace. And you remember, if you find that road, it's often a lonely one, 
but it's safe. And that's just advice. If your first time viewing this channel, like and subscribe. I know times are hard for people, but I also ask people this. If indeed you wish to donate to the channel, I ask you, I leave the description in the video for my PayPal. Here's what it is. And I ask you to sit a lot, whatever. But I support myself and my support the content, and I'm doing something that other people aren't doing. As the first maxim of law says, the workman is worthy of his wages. It is what it is. Nobody asked me to do this. I did this. I started this channel on my own. Nobody else's suggestion. It was just divine timing. And it is what it is. And if this message reached you at this moment, you wish to subscribe, please do. That is a choice you make freely and of your own, under your own volition. But stay tuned. Much more is to come in the future. Peace. Like. Look, keep your head up in this silent war. Arm yourself with the knowledge. You'll make it. Stay soon.